like to think that someone felt confident enough just to look up to someone in the crowd and give them a sneaky little wink before they head off, potentially to win a World Cup gold medal. This is his home course. He's such a legend here in these parts. And he's run this morning a 93.43. If he can replicate that here in the final, he will pick up the gold medal. We had a gold medal yesterday for Malin Sheru, and that's it. Oh, and there was a touch. He won't even know it because it was the back of his boat. The back of his canoe touched the gate. He'd, he'd, he'd gone past it, but the tail of his canoe flipped around and clipped the gate. Now, well, this is going to mean that Trave is going to have to be at his absolute best here now to get under Ryan Wesley's time because he has a two-second penalty hanging over him comes through gate 11 i think that's okay gate 12 he's fast no doubt about it but that two second penalty is that going to be the difference mate banouche sits in third position at the moment trave sails through that combination comes down to 16 he is really putting together a run here let's have a look at the split time it's going to be very close very close indeed he's in front by 0.46 of a second even with the gate touch Mikel Trave he is really eating up this course comes down to the drop how's he going to go oh a little bit deep a little bit deep for Trave oh nearly losing it there as he heads across to gate 22 is that going to be crucial we're looking at a 94.16 that's the time he has to beat it's going to be incredibly close 90 seconds ticks over I think he's going to win he comes down to the finish line yes he does Yes, he does. Well, what a run for Mikel Trave. The Spanish fans are loving it. A two-second penalty. A two-second penalty. He nearly lost the boat. He nearly lost control on that last upstream cross. But he fought back. He got control back. And he has won a gold medal here. What a run. So watch the tail of his boat here. Oh, he got it with the front of the boat as well. It was the front of the boat, in fact, not the tail of the boat. My, my bad. But have a look at this combination here. The upstream gate where he nearly lost control of his canoe, but somehow, somehow just managed to get control back and finish off the course and finish up with a gold. We're not going to see it, are we? I don't think we're going to see that last upstream combination where he nearly lost control of the canoe. But Mikel Trave, what a finish. What a finish. He takes the gold. Ryan Wesley takes the silver. And Mikel Mardikin, the veteran, takes the bronze. Yep, everybody, everybody loved that run. It was something very, very special for a man who's just so talented. He does the kayak, he does the canoe, he loves the...